Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for the last couple of weeks, I have had this building anxiety within and it's got a lot to do with my home. I am really good at decluttering and minimizing, but I realize it involves a lot of time and to always be conscious and present. And so I think I've just been really busy with work and life and things have crept into my home and little things are really irritating me and bugging me. And I've just decided to draw a line in the sand, enough is enough. So I am dedicating the next two hours to decluttering, minimizing, tidying, and most importantly, reorganizing my home again. So I have that sense of clarity, focus, and harmony within my home so that I can then power through the rest of the week and have an amazing, efficient, and enjoyable week. Now, I have just applied um, some self-tan and it's a two hour, two hour self tan. So I am going to put my phone on airplane mode so no one can call me and distract me. I have bags to sort out things that I'm gonna get rid of, things that I need to sell, or things that I need to donate to charity. I've also got a pile of cleaning rags um, and wipes so I can actually tidy and clean things as I go. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to be really aware of things that I'm products that I'm wasting and products that I'm doubling up and ways that I can kind of organize my drawers and my cupboards and my even my fridge and my pantry so that my weeks um, and days can run a lot more smoothly. So I'm going to be taking you around um, my house and it's Sunday morning and Rocco had a play date and the house is an absolute bombs tip. And as you guys know, Rocco is a bit of a hoarder, so um, be prepared. You're going to see my house um, really messy and you understand why I'm feeling slightly anxious. Okay, first stop, the bathroom. I'm going to go through my cupboards. I'm going to pull out medication that's expired. I'm going to wipe things down, look at how, um, what I need to get rid of, what I'm doubling up on, and just make it cleaner and tidier and more enjoyable to look at in the morning um, when I'm getting ready. Things to be put away. Grouping Rocco's toy together in the one container so that they stay organized and not spooled across the house. Grouping similar products together so that I know to use them up and not to go and buy some more mouthwash because I already have enough. Conscious note not to buy any more leave-in conditioner hair care treatments. I have four and I definitely do not need four. Also putting things where I'm going to use them. So the leave-in hair conditioner that's really good. I'm actually going to, instead of keeping it in my cupboard where I'll forget it, I'm actually going to put it into the shower where I know it will remind me to use it. Also, I'm just putting all my hair equipment together. So cleaning yucky, dirty things. Now I'm actually going to get some uh, wipes and clean all this down because there's like lots of product and toothpaste and gross stuff building up over it. So I'm really stopping to take the time to pull things out, look at them, ask themselves, myself, themselves, myself if I really do need and use this and just, just try and be a lot more ruthless because I hate that feeling of things squishing and overflowing and not fitting. Okay, so I don't need two of these, wasting space. How much better does that look? Cleaner and not bulging and busting at the seams. Okay, so Rocco made me this and I would, like to put it in the bin. I know that sounds really bad because Rocco makes me stuff all the time, but I'm not going to. It's the first piece of jewelry he's ever made me and I'm actually going to fight the urge, but actually put it in my jewelry box and savor it. And when I can try and wear it in front of him so he knows, I do actually think it's really special and really beautiful. That's when my minimalism can be a bad thing, but I'll save it. Okay, so I am almost finished. Um, how much better does that look? Everything has been wiped down. This just the space is really calming and I still think there are things I could get rid of over time as I use them up and don't replace them. But little things like cutting, like throwing away em empty things, like cutting off the existing tablets that stay, getting rid of that to create space, um, even like cutting it like this, getting rid of the actual boxes and putting the products into the medicine cabinet safe space and getting rid of um, vitamin tablets that expired Almost a year ago. That's the thing I check that. I'm feeling proud. Also, I have wiped down little areas in the bathroom that have been bugging me for a long time where I could see like mold or dirt that had kind of collected that I hadn't wiped away properly. So I just went to all those little areas that were bugging me and cleaned them and wiped them and felt really satisfying.
Okay, next stop is Rocco's bedroom and I want to show you how bad this mess is. Okay, so I'm going to work really quickly because time is ticking and I, I am realizing it is the weekend. I probably should have some time off. But um, also with Rocco, he's now cottoned on to my um, minimalizing or minimizing way of life and isn't too happy about it. He's discovering things that are going missing and asking me where they are and then blaming other people. So I've had to own it and explain why we've had to let some things go. I need to be respectful of his bedroom and his things. Then also I need to also show him or I guess inspire him to appreciate peace, harmony and um, space. So I'm going to also use this opportunity to go through his wardrobe and his clothes. Um, also my boyfriend stays over a lot and has a cupboard in here and he is twice as much, twice as messy as Rocco and um, really disorganized and not a hoarder but I don't even know how to explain. So I'm going to use this room to go hard and fast. Things need to be put away where they belong, like jackets. So I've just found something that I gave my dad when I was pretty much Rocco's age and it says, I love everybody and I made a little bed because inside is a teeny tiny teddy bear. So I'm like, oh, I, can't, I don't know what to do with that. I might take a picture, put it aside and then work out, oh, and you're next. That is so cute. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I still have this. Some things are too special to get rid of. I can't believe Rocco found this and was playing with this. Okay, I need to put this somewhere safe and think about what I want to do. I might even show my dad and see if he remembers it. Okay, so in going through Rocco's bedroom, I'm making good progress. I'm coming across some of Rocco's books which are damaged because he's um, destroyed them. But also they're a little bit too young for him now. Like they're toddler touch ones which was so great to read to him. So I think some of this has to go to charity. Um, and I think books are always such a great gift to give kids. So I think um, it, by letting some of these books go, we will enable him to start reading a bit more mature books, which hopefully he'll continue on loving reading. Cause it's so cool. And one thing we're definitely doing, we're making the beds. Because I hate making beds, but it does make a huge difference to your headspace. Okay, so I'm organizing things as well. I'm toys that belong downstairs. I'm putting in a pile so when I go downstairs, I can take them all down in one big efficient sweep. Um, I'm putting toy, like I'm grouping toys together, putting toys back where they belong. Um, things that are important to Rocco close to the bed. Just getting a lot more um, structure and organization to this bedroom. Okay, putting clothes back where they belong in the cupboard. Dirty clothes going in a pile, which will go straight into the laundry. Um, just powering through. I think I've, I haven't even spent 10 minutes and I've already made such good progress. It's amazing when you just go hard. Okay, so I've tidied Rocco's bedroom. It looks good. I'm now going to go through his cupboard and Tom's cupboard as well. Pajamas are grouped together. Okay, this is what happens. I somehow accidentally collect clothes that are other people's and I need to return them back to those people. So. I'm just going to quickly look through this and sort that out. Actually, it turns out they're not other people's clothes. They're actually Rocco's clothes, but their clothes that are too big for him. So I will have to put them aside and wait until he's old enough to fit into them. Okay, so for, I found pajamas where I'm missing the bottoms. And the top is actually all faded and yucky and gross. And I think even a little bit too small for Rocco. So that immediately goes into the bin pile. Going quickly, going through all t Rocco's t-shirts that... I know what fits and what doesn't, what's old and stained and tired. I try to keep everything during the week neatly folded like this because it's easier for that manic getting ready in the morning, getting dressed. Actually, Rocco has way too many caps. He doesn't wear them all. Um, so I, and we've also got odd sock collection. They have to go, unfortunately. Okay, he's got caps everywhere. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight caps. Actually, he's nine caps. <laughs> Socks that don't fit him anymore. Oh, you'll notice I have these shoe organizers for Rocco's cupboard. This is actually a great way of not just storing shoes for kids, but also things like their socks, their underwear, 
obviously their shoes, any little like belts and accessories that they might have, and of course Rocco's caps. So if you're looking for an organization idea for your children's cupboards to make the most of space, I highly recommend these, they're great. And I may even, might even use them to put more space and store um, Rocco's nappies for at night time. Oh, if anyone has any tips as to how to get your children out of nappies at night time, I would love to know. I'm going to have to deal with this stuff up the top, which I will pan up. Another time, because I'm going to need a step ladder to get up there. And I think I'm going to have to scan a lot of those stuff, those files, um, so that I don't lose information. But you know what? That does look so much better already. I'm quite chuffed with that. This is my boyfriend partner's um, wardrobe. He doesn't live with us, but he stays a lot. And I seem to do all his washing um, as well. He also has a um, business that makes ice packs um, for horses and dogs. So I, he also has turned this into a storage packing station as well. I don't want to spend too much time here because it's actually, to be honest, makes me feel really quite overwhelmed because it's just a mess. I don't even know where to begin, but I'm going to give it like five solid minutes and whatever I get done in that five minutes, I will be happy with and that's good enough for me. So first of all, I'm organizing the cupboard so that the clothes, all the shirts are together, color coordinated from light to dark. That shirt is so gross. I would love to throw this out. I wonder if you'd notice it was missing. Hmm, but I won't. That's naughty. It's together, suits together from light to dark, the jackets from light to well, light or well, darker to dark, uh, darkest, shirts light to dark, blazer, suits light to dark, underwear, like I try and fold it up, I don't think he appreciates seeing all this stuff folded up when it is, but at least I appreciate it. We're going to group everything together, so underpants together, Shorts together, swimmers together, pants together, socks together, and somehow group it all together and then work out where I'll slide it all back in. This is an example why you need to declutter, minimize, like cull your wardrobe before you go shopping. I thought Tom had no socks whatsoever, and I've just discovered, it, and I've got a whole pile of washing downstairs, he's actually got four pairs of socks. And I thought he had none, so the other day I went and bought him six new pairs of socks. I really didn't actually need to do that. If I had done this first before going to the shops, I would have saved a whole pile of money um, in buying him brand new socks. But anyway, lucky Tom gets lots of stores need to wear socks for a really long time. Belts together, t-shirts together, and making an effort just to quickly fold things doesn't take long and it looks makes it looks so much neater. Okay, so I've grouped all the stuff together and I'm going to put it all back in neatly away. Shorts. I'm going to put underwear, socks and belts and pyjamas all together in one second. And that is close to being done and that took exactly five minutes. It's still pretty messy underneath, but you know what? It looks a lot less overwhelming. So when I come back to tackle this another time, maybe later on today, if I feel like it, it's not going to take as long. It's not going to be such of a big deal, but I can see, I could actually see some sort of path in cleaning the rest of this mess up. I'm actually going to start with my office because it's a smaller space. It'll be quicker to do. And again, I'm just going to dedicate five minutes to power through. Decided I'm going to put all Tom's ice gel pack, horse pack, dog packs, all in the one area, not have them sprawled in cupboards here and there. It's gonna, he's going to have one dedicated area in my house where his um, stock is kept and that is it. I'm also going to group together in a pile all the things that I need to sell, like clothes and shoes. And I'm also going to make peace with the fact that I work from home and some things do need to be out purely for efficiency. Yes, it is a little bit of an eyesore and clutter in my home, but I'm accepting that. Uh, but Yes, that's I'm um, caught here. Yeah. This is so good. I am actually creating so much more space now in Tom's wardrobe and it's when Tom asked me where is this, where is that, it's just one area I can tell him to go look in. So I am feeling really proud. Not only have I really cleaned out Tom's wardrobe, I've created one central destination for all of Tom's ice packs and gel packs for horses and dogs. So if anyone is in the market to try and cool down their pets after running around, 
I'm the person to go to. I have plenty in stock and in different sizes. Also, over here, I've got a section where I need to put all this stuff on, like high end and eBay to sell for the thousand dollar project. I've got all my camera equipment, like bits and bobs, down here as well. And down the bottom, I've also got um, like a gift section of um, wrapping paper, ribbons, and um, things, you know, too, where I've always got like a gift on the go ready to give someone. So, the good thing is this, because I'm going to sell everything here, it will create more space, so if more ice packs get delivered to my house, I've got more st storage for Tom. And as I said, there is one central destination, so when Tom asks me where is such and such, I can just say it's here. So next stop is my bedroom now. I am pretty ruthless with my clothes. I don't think I will have much to cull. However, as I mentioned, this is about tidying and cleaning and organizing. I'm going to start with making the bed because that always makes a room feel calm and tranquil and makes it so much more inviting when you do want to go to bed. Returning Rocco's things to his bedroom. So returning things to the kitchen and the bathroom. I think, you know, things being put back where they belong, including more toys that have ended up in my bedroom thanks to Rocco. Okay, next up is my wardrobe. I already explained that I'm pretty ruthless anyway with keeping it minimized and only have in my wardrobe what I love, value, use and appreciate. But as this is about cleaning and tidying and getting organized, I'm just going to check the display of it, make sure it follows that light to dark philosophy and it's all ordered and neatly grouped together and you never know, I might find something that I've been thinking about getting rid of or forgot is even there. light to dark system. Okay, books that I have to read I'm going to keep on my bedside table um, and again magazines that I need to read as well like things need to be filed away. Also I actually found a couple of things that I do want to sell um, by doing that which is good and also things I need to throw away. So I'm going to check my surfaces and I'm also going to wipe down any dust that's been collected across like for example my bed head that's really gross um, and go through this stuff and put things away and see if I can clear this more surfaces. Made incredible progress. I've pretty much done the whole of upstairs. It took an hour and a half, which means I've got 30 minutes to go till I can wash this spray tan off. Downstairs isn't going to take as long because there's just not as much storage space. So my strategy is to go from one end of the house all the way through to the end. Starting with the collection pot at my hall table where everyone puts their keys and so much junk and crap just gets put here. I'm using this, this is an opportunity to wipe surfaces down so they look clean and fresh. Also gonna have a look at this because it's overflowing with stuff I think it might be Rocco's. It is. You leave no cupboard untouched. iPhone covers and cases. Warranties. So all my warranties I keep in these folders like this. If anything breaks, I can send it back and I have proof of purchase. And some of this I probably should scan and save space. But that is a job for another day. Okay, so this is my laundry area and I do a lot of laundry um, so I always keep it in pretty good nick. It's pretty well organized. There's actually nothing for me to do here. However, um, it has made me realize I have a lot of washing to catch up on. So whilst I'm doing this like cleaning, organizing, culling process, I'm going to put a lot of washing on. Okay, so my battery is about to die and it's approaching 12 o'clock, which means I'm almost due to wash off this spray tan and my two hour deadline is up. I'm quickly going through the, these drawers. I found things I'm going to sell. I'm being brutally honest with myself, like I have all these Italian phrase books, but the reality is when I'm practicing my Italian, I do it on my computer through a software program, not through a book. So I'm going to put, give these to charity. I don't need them anymore. It's going to create so much more space. Also, all my batteries and um, cords and keys and stuff like that all been kept in um, plastic clear Tupperware containers so I can see them if I need to find them in a hurry. And with like the dog stuff all grouped in bags, like dog bags, nice, nightly, ni nicely, neatly organized in again a Tupperware container so I can grab it quickly. So myself, um, I have these pens in the drawer. I don't need as many pens as that. Again, I'm just going to have one pencil, one pen, and one like thick pen. One other quick thing is um, I had found a double up. 
I have a bottle of wine bottle opener, two of them. I only need one. The better one will stay. This one can go in the door. Again, getting rid of things I don't need. I recently had a lesson with a chef and he said you never use these garlic crushers. It's not good for the flavor. You finally chop the garlic. So I'm going to get rid of this garlic press and again, creates more space in my drawer. Okay, so I'm onto my second last drawer of the house. This is Rocco's like creative cupboard. There's crap everywhere and I really need to sort it and I'd love to just end it right now. But I probably can't throw things away. I can just at least tidy it up and make it look a lot more organized and easier for Rocco to find those things when he wants them. I'm also going to try and teach him to learn how to put things away um, in a neat order. Okay, so I take that back. There was actually a lot of stuff that had to go in here. I found like finished um, paper that had been colored in that needs to be thrown out. I also found some random Paw Patrol cards that can now rightfully go back in their home. And a whole pile of games which we haven't actually even played with yet that we need to do together. And like just getting everything more organized and look how much more space is there. And he, all Rocco's pens are together, all his like jigsaw puzzles are together. More, I found all these um, coloring in books that Rocco hasn't even opened yet that we can he can play with. And then I've grouped together all his um, fancy dress stuff and of course like our tennis racket and tennis balls. And then I'm going to try and find a home for this because I don't, it's a blow up swan. I don't know when we're going to get a chance to use it, but there will be an opportunity I'm sure. Actually, I'll put it back in here, right here, the pump to blow it up. But um, for something I thought would have nothing to throw away, I've actually not only thrown things away, but put things back in their rightful spot and it's reminded me to play with those things that we haven't used yet and also I need to wipe this down it's filthy so I've actually gone over time this is my last drawer to clean cull tidy and organize it is an absolute mess in here and if I can do what I did with that cupboard there I'm gonna make huge progress there Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this. This is Rocco's area. This is his mess, um, his happy space. And to be honest, when Rocco has friends that come over and play, they spend hours around his sofa. And it's really convenient because it's in the kitchen so I can keep an eye on them. But they actually have a lot of fun climbing in, messing it up, trying to find things. So you know what? I'm just gonna let it be, except that it's a mess. Sure, there will be toys there that are broken or too old for Rocco that I can get rid of, but I will just, Get rid of those as time goes by when the appropriate time comes up. So I have officially achieved what I want to achieve. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff and I've actually reorganized cupboards and drawers and I feel so much better. I feel happier. I actually feel really re-energized. I feel like there's a sense of calmness um, in the house again. I've got back on top of things. I'm back in control and it's taken really two hours and 10 minutes and it has been so worthwhile and it's given me opportunity to wipe things down and as I uh, clean as I go. So I hope this video inspires you to maybe be a little bit house proud, reorganize your <clears throat> cupboards and drawers and home and create your own sense of tr um, tranquility, calmness and I guess clarity and focus in your home. It feels good and I can now enjoy the rest of my Sunday and switch off and relax and go read the newspaper. I hope that you have a great week guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.